24 million tweets, but one of them was fumbled by an Idaho lawmaker who apparently approved of a somewhat racy promo for the CBS show Broke Girls. Republican Congressman Raul Labrador tweeted, Me likey broke girls. That tweet was deleted after only 14 seconds, and his office blames the tweet on, quote, a staff error. But Labrador, who is a Mormon and father of five, is just the latest politician to feel the heat for their tweets. Here to talk about the perils and pitfalls of Twitter and other social media is our friend Eric Yeverbaum, associate publisher and co-founder of Social Media Magazines. Good to have you here. Yeah, nice to be here. Uh, okay, so it's deleted after 14 seconds. Well, deleted after 14 seconds, except yeah. guess what? It was just on national TV yep. forever. So and explain 14 that. Seconds. Well, you think you delete it and it's gone. Everything that you do with technology is permanent permanent fingerprints. You can put it on Twitter and take it off 14 seconds later. It doesn't matter. Once you put it out there, it's out there. There's no vacuum cleaner to suck that comment back in. Of course, the famous one was Anthony Weiner. And um, when he had his infamous example of tweeting gone wrong, he initially said his Twitter account had been hacked. Yeah. And now Labrador, a staff error. Well, here's the thing about, you know, all these, all the politicians, and uh, for that matter, uh, corporate America CEOs, is do they, do they actually tweet themselves, or do they have somebody hired to do it? Is there a process in place for approval? I mean, in, you know, in the old days, politicians learned from Henry Kissinger, who said, does anybody have any uh, uh, questions for the answers I'm already going to give? Twitter is an opportunity to just put out messages, but you've got to be very, very careful about how you do that. Well, let's talk about another tweet. This was from Senator Ben Cardin. It was deleted immediately. It reads, could a carbon tax be part of future budget negotiations? But then uh, the website, uh, Pollet Whoops, tracks deleted uh, political tweets, which makes it very difficult uh, to cover them up if they're potentially embarrassing or wrong, if you said something that maybe was in a meeting, but you shouldn't have said. Um, so is there really no advice you, that, that people can have except yeah. you better think about that before hitting well, send. Yes, you need a filter, some filter, not just in, in the emotional spur of the moment that you're going to send something out that you want to take back. Look what gets the attention. What gets the attention is the website that tracks deleted tweets. Yeah, yeah. That's the place that gets the attention. So you better be darn sure if you're going to tweet it that you want it to stick out there permanently. And then there are these back and forth sometime. Uh, Senator John McCain got some flack for a, a tweet a few days ago. Um, so Ahmadinejad wants to be the first Iranian in space. Wasn't he just there last week? And, and he was referring to Iran sending a monkey into space and that drew an angry response and charges of racism. So McCain fires back on Twitter. Iran space tweet, lighten up folks, can't everyone take a joke? And then Republican Congressman John Amish wrote, maybe you should wisen up and not make racist jokes. I know, but you see, here's the whole thing about the way that we're communicating now. I mean, if you know uh, John McCain, John McCain, is, he's not a racist. It wasn't a racist comment. But it, what we have is a conversation going on in 180 characters back and forth. It's just like text messaging. It's the same thing. We can't really have a conversation that way, nor can we tweet back and forth that way anything that's an issue of substance. So, you know, Senator McCain can, ha can defend himself all he wants in, you know, the, 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 in, in the Twitter world. It's never going to come off the way that he wants it to. So uh, I guess the question for some people is, if you know, Twitter is a way to get information out there. But we know that a lot of people like to learn personal things or personal opinions. If you're following someone who's famous in particular, you want to feel like you're kind of an insider. Here's what uh, First Lady Michelle Obama sent out during the Super Bowl. Watching the hashtag Super Bowl with family and friends, Beyonce was phenomenal. I'm so proud of her. His safe the way to go but when you're safe are you sometimes bordering on boring well you know that's pretty boring to me I, I, you know that said uh, Michelle Obama has a lot of followers who might be interested in what her opinion you know was of Beyonce but you know I think especially for politicians better to be safe than to be sorry you gotta live with sorry for a long time like forever uh, forever is right <laughs> yeah. Eric Averbaum it's always great to have you on the program uh, great to be here thank you so much